everyone, welcome to This Week in Comics, episode 6, brought to you by Comic Connections and Spartown Comics. We are going to be uh, doing the format we did last week where we look at 10 books this week, uh, mostly because I've been really, really busy today and I haven't had time to read my five top picks. So we're going to be looking at 10 books again, like last week, and we're going to start doing that right now. This is for comics that come out on the 7th of February 2018. Let's do this. Okay, so my first pick, in no particular order, is Venom 161. So we've just come off the back of the Venom Inc. crossover. It's by the same writer, Mike Costa, and it's a nice one-shot. So it's always good to have a comic that's done in one. If you've not picked up Venom for a while, give this one a look. My second pick this week is Spider-Man, issue 237. So, or Spy-D, if you prefer, because Bendis has decided to rename the character on his way out the door. Um, you know what? He's given us great comics for 18 years. I'm not going to bitch about that too much. Uh, yeah, I've been really enjoying Spider-Man. Give this one a look. Uh, it's got the Hobgoblin in it. Lovely cover art. Big fan of this one. Okay, Spider-Man and Deadpool issue 27. Uh, I've enjoyed this book right from the start, although I am a few issues behind. It's written by Robbie Thompson now. He's done some really good Spider-Man stuff over the last few years. Uh, it's Spider-Man and Deadpool teaming up. It's a good, good fun comic. It's drawn by Chris Picciolo. Definitely, uh, definitely one for me this week. Don't know if it's your cup of tea. You let me know in the comments below. Batman issue 40, continuing Tom King's run on the character, is a two-part story where he's teaming up with Wonder Woman, fighting a very similar war to one that Superman and Wonder Woman fought well back in Joe Kelly's run like 12 years ago. Uh, Tom King is on fire right now. Everything he does is good. I've really enjoyed his vision. I'm looking forward to getting into his Mr. Miracle, and his Batman is solid as you like. Also, the third best-selling book in our shop. So now you know. Amazing Spider-Man 795 is always one of my favourite picks whenever it comes out. I love Amazing Spider-Man. You're getting to know that by now. We've had um, we've had really nice covers by Alex Ross for a little while now. We're getting towards the end of Dan Slott's run. He's been on the book 10 years. It's a bit sad when he leaves. But hey, let's not worry about yet that yet. We're on the road to issue 800. I'm on board. Are you? So Superman issue 40 is also out this week and it's a fill-in by James Robinson, not the usual uh, writer on here. Uh, but you know what? It's Superman teaming up with Jonathan Kent. I love Jonathan Kent as a character. I like his interaction with, uh, with Kal-El. I think it's a great dynamic that they've added to the Superman books since Rebirth. So yeah, Superman. Uh, I'm a big fan. What more can I say? Continuing the Avengers weekly story in Avengers No Surrender, this is Avengers 679. Uh, it's been interesting to see people getting excited about Avengers again because it seems to have been a little while since people did that. And considering the A-list talent we've had with people like Jonathan Hickman and Mark Wade, I don't get why it's not a top-selling book all the time. But yeah, it's people seem to be on board for this story and, uh, of course, this new character who's come into it, Voyager, who, she's always been there, honest. People seem to be really going for that storyline. And I'm enjoying it as well, which is nice. One of the big releases from Marvel this week is X-Men Red Issue 1. Uh, it's been a while since I've read an X-Men book, but this comes off the back of the very popular Phoenix Resurrection series. So I thought I'm going to give this one a look and see what all the fuss is about, but I haven't done it yet. So, you know, maybe I'll put a comment in the video tomorrow morning and let you guys know. The other big release from Marvel, and it's already pre-reserved, we don't have any copies left of the shelf, is Infinity Countdown number one, Adam Warlock. We've reordered it, we hope to have these back in stock next week. That's on us, we, we totally underestimated how many people would want an Adam Warlock book. Silly really, considering he was teased at the end of the Guardians of the Galaxy 2. We should have known better. Lovely art by Michael Red on this one. Um, everyone's going to be on the road to Infinity Prime, uh, and we should have had more of this. We're sorry. We'll do our best to improve. Bad. Batman White Knight issue 5. Ooh, I'm really looking forward to this one. I love Batman White Knight. It's gone from being uh, quite a small title that we didn't really order enough of to being our second biggest book in store just behind Doomsday Clock. Uh, we've quadrupled our orders now from issue 1 and we are still struggling to have enough to go on the shelf. So what's that about? We have issue one, two, three, and four back in print, like fourth printings, third printings, second prints. We were gonna keep pushing Batman White Knight until all of you guys get this. Some of you who get Batman and Detective Comics still don't get White Knight. What's that about? Come on, get on board the White Knight train. It's worth it, definitely. So that was 10, but you know what? There's one more I'm gonna mention. Uh, my favorite single comic issue of all time is Astro City issue half. And last week, Astro City 50 came out with a follow-up to that story. And I had no idea what. So 
I've got this back in. There's one on the shelf. I'm really looking forward to reading this. If you haven't done Astro City, the original six issue mini series and the half issue are an absolute must read. I recommend them to anyone. Astro City doesn't get the respect it deserves. It was an Eisner award winning book like 15, 20 years ago. No one cares now. I care. Astro City, get on it. My pick for graphic novel or trade paperback of the week is Preacher. No, it's not new. I didn't say it came out this week. I'm just saying it's good. Actually, Preacher, over the last 15 years, maybe closer to 20 now somehow, it's one of our best-selling graphic novels. It might be the best-selling graphic novel series we ever have we've ever had if you account for every volume which is six volumes now it used to be nine volumes it's a brilliant book it's written by garth ennis drawn by steve dillon covers by glenn fabry they are the preacher team you might know them from their excellent punisher work uh we lost steve dillon last year which is very sad upsetting god it's probably the year before which is even more upsetting you might know the TV show, which is great if you do, but this is even better. I guarantee you this is one of the best comics you can ever read. It's a road movie, it's funny, it's poignant, it's got an issue just about Bill Hicks. Like, this book does stuff that comics weren't doing when it came out. Uh, and really, in many ways, Preacher did change the face of comics. So, I imagine most of you have read Preacher. If you haven't, you should read Preacher. So what else is new in store? Uh, we've re-merchandised a bit. We have a new science fiction, crime, and a horror section. We've got to drop a photo in here. Yeah, wasn't that nice? And we have the new Batman comic boxes. Uh, they're a little bit more expensive than the Marvel comic boxes, but you know what? It's got Jim Lee art on it, and it's Batman, so you know it's pretty worth it. Um, we've got new action figures. We've got new graphic novels. We've got new, 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 new. Come and see us. You know where we are. We're here seven days a week. We open at 10 in the morning until 5 in the evening, uh, except Sundays, which is 11 till 4. We're open late Wednesday till 7 for new comic book day new comics don't you know come in and see us we'd like you to and hopefully i won't be ill when i do this video next week and it'll be so much more fun for me thank you for watching comment like subscribe see you next week